These are pictures broadcast by a Houthi-controlled television channel. But it's clear what happened. The building has been totally flattened. They're picking through the rubble, but by now, and with the resources they've got, there is little chance of finding anyone alive. It was a detention center run by the Iranian-backed Houthis, but many of the inmates were civilian refugees who had been fleeing the fighting. We consider this a war crime against humanity. The world should take its responsibility at this critical moment in human history. We are witnessing many victims. The number of dead keeps going up. One local hospital treated around 200 of the wounded, but then shut its doors because it couldn't cope anymore. Saudi Arabia, which is backed by Britain and the US in this conflict, has claimed responsibility for another airstrike that hit a telecommunication center in the key port city of Hodeida, knocking out the internet across Yemen. Three children playing football nearby were killed in that strike. The airstrikes are retaliation for Houthi drones that exploded close to Abu Dhabi International Airport on Monday, killing three people. What we need is to stop this vicious circle in which things get escalating one after the other. What we need uh, is to have, as we have been proposing uh, from long ago, a ceasefire together with the opening of harbor and uh, uh, airports, and uh, then uh, the beginning of a serious dialogue among the parties. This escalation needs to stop. Yesterday, there were huge protests in the rebel-held capital Sana'a as Yemen faces yet another phase of violence in this long-running conflict. Seven years of devastating war, tens of thousands dead, and yet still it goes on. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News.